All right, what up, guys? Um, we'll just get right into it. So, unfortunately, we just woke up. Just got ready for the day. Showered. Did my face routine. Um, but the problem is that it's 9 o'clock. And I'm talking PM. Yes, that is not a joke. I'll actually fucking prove it to you guys right now. Ignore my fucking room right now. But it's dark as shit outside, guys. Like, it's 9 fucking p.m. Um, but it's not like we just woke up. We actually woke up um, around 6 p.m. And I had a little bit of work to do. And then, exciting news, I got two victory royales. So that's what we did with our morning. And now we're going to do a vlog. And everybody knows that if your sleep schedule's fucked, the only way to fix it is just to, you know, stay up all night long. So we're starting the vlog now at 9 p.m. And I'll probably go to bed tomorrow at around 9 p.m. So a little 24-hour vlog for you guys. All right, breakfast we're going to be doing. Protein oatmeal. Boom. And a fucking protein shake, a Fairlife protein shake. Got our oatmeal, boom. And while we eat breakfast, we're gonna uh, react to some of, my, some of my favorite hate comments. And I read your guys' nice comments, like I love the support. I'm only reacting to the hate ones because I think it's funny. You know, if I just was reading the supportive ones, it wouldn't be as entertaining per se. But let's get right into it. Number one most popular comment that I get is something along the lines of, dude looks natural, Blood takes gear to look natty, yada, yada, yada. And it's always skinny motherfucking dudes taking this. Like, oh, I'm going to look like you natty in two years. Give me one year, I'm going to look like you natty. But nobody that actually looks like me, natural, has ever commented that in the entire existence of me being on social media. And it's fine. I can look natty, right? I'll, I'll take it. I look natty. But if I look natty, what does that make you? You know, like severely malnourished starving child boy and also like what fucking natties are you talking about if somebody looks like me like 220 decently lean natty it's either the people on the internet that are a either lying or like top tier genetics professional bodybuilders i'm not a professional bodybuilder i'm a dude just living my life i would like to be a professional bodybuilder one day but i'm not there yet and you're talking about the best of the best. I'm not the best of the best. I'm just due to the dude. All right, moving on. <laughs> Imagine taking roids just to be smaller than other people taking roids. And this one, this guy could be onto something here, right? Because it's like, imagine working a job just to not make as much money as Elon Musk. Couldn't be me. Sounds fucking stupid, I'll just stay unemployed. Not worry about all that bullshit. All right, this is a fucking long one. Promoting roids on almost every video, mate. You are so full of shit. Honestly, I'm not reading all that. I'll put it up on the screen and you guys can read it. But as far as the good influence thing, why do I need to be a good influence? Explain to me why I need to be a good influence. And I understand the idea of like, there's kids watching you, you need to be a good influence. I'm not a good influence, and one of the biggest things when I started social media was I don't want to like put up a front. <clears throat> like the things that I post are true to myself, and at my core, I'm not like the best influence. I'm not gonna pretend to be a be good influence, right? Like I'm a 21 year old du frat dude. I'm not qualified to be a good influence, and if I did, it would be just me spewing bullshit at you guys. It's like, what, I'm supposed to tell you to not do drugs and then I'm gonna go do a bunch of fucking drugs? That just makes me a hypocrite and a dick. <laughs> D-trend. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just, you know, that's just not me. Fuck it, dude, gamble, do drugs, drink. I do all those things and I love my life. And it's like, dude, who are you to tell me to be a good influence? You go be a fucking good influence. It's not my job. This dude sucks. The whole point of working out is to be healthy and live longer. Seems like some forgot that. 
Says fucking who? You can work out and be healthy and be a natty fuck if you want. But I want to be great. Those who sacrifice their health are going to accomplish more than those who, you know, take things carefully, take things slow. You think Big Rami would have been able to do any of those thi the things he's accomplished? If it wasn't for sacrificing, making massive sacrifices, you take, you know, somebody that's not on his level, making these sacrifices, trying to do great things, and people don't, like, quite see the vision. No one sees the vision until the vision's complete. It is currently 10.30, and we're gonna get ready for the gym. I'm also gonna go, while I do this, I'm gonna start chugging away at the Q&A. All right, a lot of people want to know what cycles I've ran, how long I've been taking gear. That's one of the popular Q&A questions. So while I prepare my injection, we'll talk about it. My first cycle ever, um, I've been on gear for about 11 months, and my first cycle ever was testosterone for the, for what, four months? First month, 300 testosterone, and then we bumped it up to 475 for the remainder of the cycle. And then the last six weeks, we added Anivar pre-workout. Um, saw pretty good results from that. Maybe I'll do a little before and after here. Bing, bing. I was happy with that. Then we hopped off for a while, cruised on 150 TRT for a couple months. And then we hopped back on our second cycle. And I'm, you know, about three months into my second cycle. We're doing testosterone and primabolin, and just the other day we added super draw. But I'll tell you what, that shit makes me bald. So I've brought in RU58841 to prevent my balding. I sprinkle it on my hair every day and we're looking pretty good. Full hairline review. A lot of people won't reveal their hairline, right? They'll be like, oh yeah, look at my hair, it looks good. No, boom, there it is. There's my hairline in the flesh. Not great, not horrible. I can't complain, boom. Got it prepared. We're doing just under one and a half cc's today. A lot of people were asking how many gear grams of gear do I take total? Um, hopefully I can say this on here, but it's just 500 test, 400 primo, 50 anivar, and like 30 to 40 super draws. It's going to be less than a gram of gear total per week. A lot of people, based on my videos, think I'm blasting gear, taking a shit ton of gear. It's pretty light. I hardly take any gear, really, um, in the grand scheme of things. But before we pin this, we're going to answer another Q&A question. A lot of people seem to be a little confused as to how I make money, considering I'm a college dropout. So, let's talk about it. Since I dropped out for the past, like, what, two, three years, I made my full-time living off of trading cryptocurrency. And I don't make that much money, but, like, enough to survive. And I don't, I don't talk about it that much because, you know, my page is kind of focused on fitness. Um, but I'll show you guys what we're doing right now. All right, so here we have the laptop where shit gets done. My little workstation, tripod, gear zone. Um, but anyways, here we have the trades that I have opened currently. I opened those earlier today. Um, and then in the last 24 hours, these are the trades that I've opened. So like 2000 bucks today, which is better than usual. I don't, I don't want you guys thinking, you know, that I'm out here making 2000 bucks a day doing this. I'm honestly pretty fucking dog shit at my job. These are like short term trades that I'm doing right here. Um, but I make most of my money from swing trades. I hold, you know, most positions for about three months. And then any money that I make, I just rotate into Bitcoin because I'm a big Bitcoin fan. But I don't want to talk about it too much because that's not what you guys are here to watch. A lot of people say like, oh, you need to invest in the S&P 500 and be more like Warren Buffett. And like, dude, if you've got $5,000 to your name, 10000 20000 if you've got $50,000 to your name and you put it in the S&P 500, you're still going to be fucking broke for your whole life. What, you make 6 7% a year? In one year, you're going to make a couple thousand dollars off of your $50,000 investment. Fuck that. In roulette, you could take $100, win 10 spins in a row, and be a millionaire. Yeah, think about that, motherfuckers. And it's like, dude, fuck Warren Buffett. What the fuck does Warren Buffett even know? Look at this motherfucker. I'll put a picture right there. Look how old and wrinkly that bitch is. 
if I woke up looking like Warren Buffett, I would be fucking pissed. And if you guys want me to talk more about this, I can talk a little bit more about it. But again, I'm more like kind of focused on fitness type of shit. Um, but he, let's get into the cool shit. A little bit of roulette. <laughs> Alright, and it's pretty easy, guys. Just always go on black. So we're going to put 100. I don't know what. We'll do 100 and... How much money do we have in here? 150 bucks on black. 5 bucks on green, you know. And it's straightforward, guys. You do this once a day. You make money. And if I win this, we could double down. Alright, how about that? We'll win this and we'll double it down. Mm-hmm. Give me zero. God fuck! Alright, usually it doesn't go that poorly. Well, I guess 50% of the time it goes that poorly. So, fuck roulette. We'll try again tomorrow. Alright, we're gonna bang out some of the other FAQ questions real quick. Have you noticed any regrowth from the RU58841 and minoxidil stack? Absolutely. It is a game changer for your hair. I really mean it. Um, and you can take it if you're not on gear. You're just going bald. Fucking use it. Why not? How much does it cost me for all my gear every month? It depends. Like, first cycle, the whole thing was only like fifteen hundred bucks with blood work and everything. This cycle, a little more expensive, maybe fifteen hundred bucks a month. Like, the gear itself is decently cheap. Primo's expensive, but the gear is cheap. Like, the shit that costs money is blood work, all the stuff that you take to stay healthy on cycle. Are SARMs worth it? No, don't take SARMs. What's my favorite anabolic? Um, good question. Probably Anavar. All right, how to pin. Squeeze the air bubble out of the top, get a little fluid running down the side as lube. And then you wanna stab it in like it's a dart. And then inject the fluid about 20 seconds per milliliter. All right, boom. No leaks, nothing easy as that. If you're scared of hopping in gear because you're scared of pinning, well, first of all, grow the fuck up. It's not that big of a deal. You ever get a floof shot from the doctor? It feels the exact same, you're just doing it yourself. It's about this, like, the inconvenience is about the same as fucking showering every day. It takes me, what, 10 minutes to get it done? Alright. It is currently, what time is it? Midnight. And we are going to go hit chest and back. I'm excited because it's a Friday, so the gym should be completely empty. You know, everybody is going to booze and shit. Um, but we will be hitting a nasty chest pump. And like I said... My camera guy's out of town, so I can't do like a crazy workout edit for you guys and shit. But I think it's a good opportunity to do, you know, like talk to you guys a little bit more about my workouts. Um, I don't train the most optimally. I just kind of train for fun, you know, whatever feels good we're going to be doing. I like to hit, if you have crunchy shoulders or like you get shoulder pain when you're hitting chest, it helps a fuck ton if you add some back exercises so like I'll do my warm-up I do a little shorter shoulder warm-up that I'll show you guys usually I structure my workouts like two to three uh, pushing movements and then one to two fly movements the volume just depends on the intensity for the day I might get my gyno removed the reason I'm getting my gyno removed is because you know you can take drugs to make your gyno smaller but it's not fun. Like, I don't like loading my body with more chemicals than I need. And my gyno's not really that noticeable. It's not that bad. But I hate dropping my estrogen that low. Because, like, people think you can just drop your estrogen super low into the normal range and you won't get gyno, which is true. But when you're, out, when you're on cycle, you want your testosterone to estrogen ratio to be 1 to 20. And my testosterone's at 3,200. So that, leaves, that would leave my ideal estrogen level at fucking way above the reference range for me to be in a good ratio for my brain function for me to be you know healthy and happy and then I get gyno if I'm at the ideal ratio so what I do is I drop it below the ideal ratio but then I'm fucking like it just sucks dropping your estrogen fucking sucks you feel like shit you get brain fog um, and it's easily the worst part about gear is fucking with your estrogen so and then I take other chemicals, relaxaphine and all that shit. So it's just like, if I just get fucking surgery, I can let my estrogen be high. Because having high estrogen is nice if you're not getting acne and gyno. So I can let it be high. I'll feel great. 
and I don't gotta deal with taking a bunch of chemicals. All right, one of the biggest reasons that people get like crunchy shoulders or shoulder injuries is because their rotator cuff isn't strong enough. So here's a good, this, I have to do this um, like three, four times a week, three sets of it. You want to be able to get 15 reps each and it depends on the person. For a guy like my size, you want to be able to do five pounds Stay on like a bench or something. And the first one is 15, kick it straight back. The second one, 15, thumb up, you kick it right to the side. And then the third one, 15, you bend your arm, thumb up. So we're gonna start with these. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm not gonna waste your guys' time, but then we're gonna do 15 like this. 15 like this. Reason number two that you have shitty shoulders. It's because your rhomboid and your rear delt and your back muscles are not as strong as your front delt and chest. So, how are we gonna progress this? We're gonna do this, three seconds on the way down. This is on the way up. Six to eight reps, three sets. Next one, boom. It's like a Y motion. Same story, six to eight reps, three sets. You wanna be able to do like 10% of your max bench on this weight. So like, say your max bench is 225, you should be able to do 22.5 pounds for six reps. All right, three sets of pull-ups real quick. Get the blood flowing to the back before benching. But how we're gonna progress the bench today, 135, two sets, hopefully about 25, 30 reps, 185, two sets, maybe three sets, uh, hopefully 15 reps each, um, and then maybe one set of 225, 10 reps. Alright, I don't know what the fuck that was. That felt disgustingly hard for 185. That fucking set of 12 sucked. We did another one after that, got like 15, but I really think we can get 16 here. <clears throat> That set was a lot better. Since the set of 12 was just such dog shit, we're not gonna count it, so I got 225 on. We're gonna go for like eight reps. Next up we're going to be doing these guys. And this chest press is fucking awesome. We're going to do two regular sets, one drop set, then we'll move on. Alright, we've been here for way too fucking long, so I'm going to stop talking to you guys, just bang out the rest of these workouts. Here we have a machine fly. We're gonna hit four sets of these, then do cable flies. I'll film a set of those and push ups. And then we're fucking doing an hour of cardio. No core, obviously, because fuck that. Yeah. All right, and a lot of people want me to post my physique in regular lighting. Here we are in re more regular lighting. This is the most normal lighting I can find in this gym. Um, and obviously we don't look as freaky, right? But that's to be expected. I'm still pretty happy with this fucking look right now, guys.
All right, really quick, we're gonna bang out 30, 40 minutes on the Stairmaster. All right, cardio's done. 30 minutes, it wasn't too bad today. But here's the fucking problem. We have locked our keys and wallet in this fucking thing, which I swear I'm not an idiot, but obviously I've done something fucking wrong here, which makes me a total fucking retard. This is giving me the fucking void rage beyond your wildest imagination. How about that? Picking the lock with scissors. I can't believe this is what I'm fucking doing right now. This is, it is. 322 in the fucking morning. I guess we're gonna Uber home, go eat some stuff, shower. I don't know, maybe play a couple games of Fortnite. And then just fucking Uber back here and then go get our food at that point. God, this is just fucking so fucking retarded. It's Uber will be here in three minutes. All right, we are home. I really uh, let the roid rage get the best of me for a sec there. I was pissed about fucking leaving my keys there or locking myself out. But if you really think about what's going on, that's not that big of a deal at all. I got a protein shake and I'm not so mad anymore, right? Like, I just got an Uber back there in like five hours. I was going to be awake anyway. It's not a problem. You know, like, I could get AIDS right now and that would be a problem. That's something to be upset about, but... Something small like that, no reason to be roid raging. Alright, we're back. <coughs> um, what time is it? 7 in the morning, so into regular people hours, which is exciting. Feeling like a functioning human again. We haven't slept yet, we're not going to sleep for another 10 hours. Probably, at least, ideally. So we're going to go to the gym and get my fucking car, and then we're going to go shopping. But first, exciting news. Is that going to focus? We just hit 100,000 followers on Instagram. You know, quick thank you to you guys that are watching this video right now that have made it this far into the video. I'm gonna do a giveaway. All right. Back at the gym. Yeah, beautiful. All right, anyways, let's go get our fucking phone back or our keys in a car. Maybe we'll do some more cardio while we're here. Um, I accidentally locked my shit in one of those lockers last night. Can I have the key? All right, that was fucked. That took about an hour. It is 8.30 now. All right, we're going to IHOP. A little funk to get your day started. We are so back! This is so dope, I got the fucking car! Oh my god! There she is, beautiful fucking IHOP. <clears throat> While we're eating, we're gonna bang out this QA. Um, okay, why do you promote steroids to teens so much? Because more teenagers need to take steroids. I'm not telling you to do it or not to do it. Do whatever the fuck you want. I don't, you know? What's a supplement to increase, increase your appetite? MK677. How do steroids affect my acne? They make it way worse. It's mostly genetics, to be honest with you guys, but... They do make me much more sensitive to it. Like I used to be able to eat dairy, now I can't. Training split, chest, back, arms, legs. Where do you get a coach? 
any of the research time guys are great. Nate Udi, Tanner Tabbit's my coach, but I don't know if he's taking clients. Nate Udi's good. Jacob Bell's good. He's 18 too young for test. I belong. I think that. A lot of younger people know deep down that's not a good idea for them to take steroids, but they ask me because they know they're thinking in their head, I need somebody to tell me yes. And they're like, who's the biggest fucking idiot degenerate on the internet that I know? And they're like, this guy seems like a horrible fucking example. Maybe he'll tell me I can do it. To kind of validate a lot of younger people doing it. Again, I'm telling you, I don't care if you do it or not. Do I think it's a good idea? No. But do whatever you want. Does relaxing really help with gyno? The study showing about 90% of people it's effective in reducing your gyno. It does not get rid of it entirely though. How do I get girls? That's an interesting one. Um, stop trying to get girls. Focus on yourself and then the girls will come. Like the second you stop trying to get girls, chase girls, and start focusing on your own shit, working out, making money, the girls come naturally. So, what do they say? Attract, don't chase. Are you ever going to try Trend? Yes, absolutely, one day. It's the most infamous steroid out there. Like, how could you not try it? Okay, that was a fucking bad statement. You might have to cut that out. That was... Me, personally, I would like to try it for those reasons. Not like, oh, how could you not try it? Everyone should do it. If I were to go natty, would I keep my gains? No. I would honestly get small as fuck, so. How do I keep my nuts going while on cycle? HCG, fertility peptide. First cycle, 250 milligrams or 500 milligrams? I'd start with 250, and if you react well, you can bump it up after like the first month or two. Can you hop on gear without having health problems? No, not really. It's just fucking bad for you at the end of the day. Have you noticed any personality changes while on gear? It depends on like the type of gear like trend will make people go insane but for me personally just testosterone primabolin the shit I take I don't notice any changes in my personality but I'm more intense overall like everything I do is a little more exaggerated a little more intense when I'm on cycle we are going to do some more of the Q&A we're gonna do it in my car a nice change of scenery is oral only cycle safe well, there's no such thing as a safe cycle. They're all going to fuck you up to a certain degree. So, no. But especially not an oral one. Um, and it's like, why Why do you want to do an oral-only cycle? If the answer is because you don't want to pin, then fucking take out your tampon. How old were you when you started pinning? 20 years old. What peptides do I use? Right now, just um, HCG. I've taken BPC-157 in the past before, and it was great. Highly recommend it. I just fucking <laughs> caught myself breathing out of my mouth. That was disgusting. I hope you guys didn't see that. What are some things that you don't like while being on gear? Gyno, hair loss, acne, mood swings, cost money, my blood pressure's high, getting my blood work done, I don't like pinning, I don't like taking all my supplements. Yeah, that about covers it, but those things I all genuinely dislike a pretty reasonable amount this whole page we'll just go through these six right here these eight d ball giveaway trend give me trend price of trend where can i buy trend first cycle recommendation um testosterone how do you handle the acne that's the only thing that's preventing me from stopping on like i said earlier um it's mostly genetics to be honest with you guys i'll pin every day to reduce the hormone fluctuations. Um, 50, 20 grams of vitamin B5 a day, two gallons of water. So I'm not gonna like tell you guys, oh, I don't have acne because I do all this. This is the secret. The secret is fucking genetics. A lot of people asking about certain different SARMs, some SARMs that I've never fucking heard of. I don't like SARMs. I don't think anybody should be taking SARMs. 
If you want to do an oral that's relatively safe, like I said, MK and clomiphene, HCG, that's not oral, so MK, HCG, er, and clomiphene. SARMs, dog shit, AIDS in the butt, don't do it. Do you regret your decision of taking drugs? No, I love drugs, all types of drugs. And I've been doing drugs for many years, and I've, and I like drugs. Fuck, guys, I am sleepy as shit. So we, we're done with the Q&A. It's 10 in the morning now. Alright, this video is getting kind of long, so we're just about coming to an end. I did, however, forget that we left that trade open. So last thing we're going to do today, close the trade. We saw some beautiful red candles. Um, so, um, what's that? Another, like, 2100 bucks on the day. So... What, 1600 plus 21? My brain is so fried. $3,700. A productive day playing Fortnite, working out, and trading crypto. But, anyways, I did a lot more talking in this video than usual. I hope you guys liked it. Um,. Next video, we're probably going to be doing some more stuff. It'll be a travel vlog. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate all of your support. Togi out. <laughs>